Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to be covering how you can easily add user accounts to your Meteor site. And we're going to do so with another package called Accounts UI that allows us to drop in a login form without having to write any code at all. Uh, it's really just going to be with one Meteor helper. Now that's not going to be ideal for every situation, but it's really great to get up and going on a project that you don't want to have to spend too much time on to test things out. So in later videos, we're going to show you how exactly you can build a custom login form. However, for this example, we're going to take accounts and accounts UI and build a login system right now. So we have our application here and it's great, but we want to personalize it a little bit more. We want to give users the ability to log in, have user accounts, and that's sort of a functionality that you probably want on a lot of sites. So it makes sense to throw it in here so that we can get experience and see just how easy adding accounts and accounts UI is to Meteor. So let's head to our terminal and add a new package. So from here, we can just do our Meteor add like we have been already. Now there's a couple of packages we want to add. The first is accounts and hyphen password. Okay. Now the next is going to be accounts hyphen UI. Now accounts hyphen password is going to give us the ability to log in with the password and accounts UI is going to give us a basic user interface that we're going to have to do absolutely nothing to do to drop into our site. It's really just one uh, template tag and uh, Meteor will take care of the rest. So let's go ahead and enter and add those to our uh, project here. Now, as you can see, uh, everything's been added. It added accounts base, accounts password, accounts UI, and accounts UI unstyled, uh, along with some other stuff that we're not actually going to be worrying about too much. So let's head back and let's check out our code. So here we have our site. Now, what we wanna do is go ahead and drop in this new login template helper. So if we've seen these helpers before to load up a template and it does so with the greater than sign. So let's go ahead and add that and I'm gonna do so just at the bottom of this container here, just so it's sort of out of the way. And right here at the very bottom before the body, I can do greater than space and then the name of the template is login buttons. Just like that, login buttons plural. Now you can see uh, this unstyled sort of just sign in text link right down here exists directly below our container. In fact, let's go ahead and put it in the container just to uh, make it seem a little less odd to be right down there. So just right here within this last div. Okay, so we now have this sign in text here and you'll notice when we click it, it opens up this modal window that gives us the option to enter an email and password uh, and sign in. Or it allows you to create an account by entering your email and password and create an account. Well, let's say we wanted to sign in with not an email, but just a, a username. You don't want to make your users uh, submit an email, especially if you're not gonna use it. So to give them the ability to just have a username, that's kind of nice. So let's go ahead and modify this to allow us to use that option. So let's head back to our JavaScript. And in our Meteor is client if statement, let's actually put this at the bottom. So right before the closing bracket, let's modify the accounts UI config. So we can say accounts.ui.config and we can pass this config object uh, some parameters. So one of the parameters we can pass it is uh, password sign up fields. And what we can do is in a string, just say username underscore only, just like that. And let's finish it off with a semicolon here. And let's head back to our browser. So accounts.ui.config password sign up fields and password sign up fields is camel cased. Username underscore only is all caps. 
Okay, so now if we head back to our application, now when we select this, you'll see that instead of email, it gives us the option for username and password. So now what we can do is click create account and we can ask for a username. So let's just have a username and say admin. We can give this a password and I'm just gonna have a one character password just because and let's click create. Well, you'll notice it's actually giving us an error message. So by default, it wants us to have passwords that are six characters long, but that's really the only specification that it needs by default. So let's go ahead and actually make a real password, click create account, and just like that, we're signed in. So with absolutely almost no code, right? We have essentially one line modifying it, and then we have a, a helper tag, but we've just added user accounts. Now, adding user accounts to a lot of other stacks is not as much fun as this. This is really super simple. And it can be a little bit more complex once we get into uh, custom login forms and stuff like that, but it's really not that much more complex. Now, let's say we only want users to be able to submit posts. So we only want to give them the ability to have this submit here and this form if they're logged in. So let's go back to our HTML. And what's great is that this comes with a built-in helper that allows us to do just that. So let's come to our, our label and our form input here where we have this new resolution. So around this new resolution form, what we can do is simply wrap this in a if, so we do pound if, and the helper function here is going to be current and then user in camel case, just like this. And now we can end this with uh, forward slash if to close that out. So what this is checking is really just if anyone is logged in. So if we come back to our page and refresh, you'll see that we certainly get this form. However, if we click uh, our, our username right here and then click sign out, our form is completely gone. So once again, we sign in with our username and password and the form returns immediately. It's great, all this stuff happens without page refreshes. It's a nice modern experience. Cool, so we now have some accounts. We now have the ability for users to create accounts, log in, anything like that. In the next couple of videos, we're gonna be working more with users. We're gonna show you how to use user data throughout things so we can attach a user to a particular resolution and then perhaps only show that user's resolutions to that user. Therefore, everybody's gonna have their own re monthly resolution sheet and you're not gonna be seeing each other's sheets. Also, we're gonna be able to log in with Facebook, log in with Google, log in with Twitter, all that stuff just as easily as we're able to build logins in the first place. So keep watching, we're gonna do a lot more cool stuff with user accounts in the next few videos. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.